Hi welcome back to my channel I have got another interesting topic to share with you about the Jira service management uh, today I will talk about this cool app called customer and organization management this app is packed with lot of features and I have actually used this app for my clients recently let's take a closer look at what this app can do and how we can use it effectively to start off I'll walk you through the process of installing this app to install this app you need to go to this app menu in the top navigation and when you will expand this app menu you have to click on explore more apps and here you will search for this app customer and organization management and hit the enter button and here you will find this app uh, the first result customer and organization management for Jira service management now I will click and it will give me a options to install this app here but I have already added this app that's why it's saying it's added and it's giving a options to get started I'll click on the get started and it will redirect you to this page customer details of the Jira service management and here you can have an overview about this app number one is design form collect details and view the data this app has a great feature where you can collect data about the customers and as an agent it is very helpful for you to know more about your customers you can read a little bit about the introduction of this app this app allows you to collect all essential information about a customer you are dealing with so you have all the data you need to provide an excellent support to your customer and as an agent it is very necessary to know more about your customers so that you can provide the better solution of your customers here they have options you can design a form where you can collect the data about your customer you can uh, view the data about your customer they provide a view where you can see the details of the customers so i will tell you where you will uh, go and see this view in the video so this is the installation process of the app now we will go and see after the installation where I can see this app so if you already installed this app then you can find this app from the top navigation when you will click you will have uh, options about the customer and organization and as an agent you can also find this app in the left sidebar as well here you can see this is a customer when you will click in the customer section this is the view where you can see all the information about your customer and if I am an agent and I am helping my customer to resolve their problem then it is very important for me and even it is very helpful for me to see the information about the customer like what about the position of my customer telephone roles and responsibility these are just the testing fields if I want to add uh, more fields then I can I'll tell you where you can add later in the video so here we have the add customer option we have filter we have fields and we have our options to find out a customer in this view this search will work perfectly if you have let's suppose 2000 3000 or maybe uh, more than this customer in your organization you have uh, options to the rows like 25 50 75 or 100 you can choose as per your need and here we have some actions like export to csv import data from csv and the refresh index if i want to export this view into the csv then i can and even i can import the data of my customer from the csv as well and here i have an option about the documentation and the contactors when you will click on the documentation then this documentation will open and the documentation of this app is easy to follow and you can understand each and everything about the app from their documentation now we will come back to our view and here we have add customer option when i will click add customer it will ask me about the display name email and i can hit the add button to add the customer and i can assign the customer to my projects as well right now in my instance i have the three services project i can assign my customers to one of them then i can simply write down the name email add and then assign this particular customer to the service project uh, right now i will click on the cancel and here i have a option of the filter here i have the one filter which is project i can add more filter when i click on the add a filter i have uh, options to add the filter i can add maybe on the basis of the organization and then i can select the organization uh, maybe i have the 
organization this one then i can or i can clear the filter here now i will click on this and i have other option fields here i have a field like email organization position and the other fields as well i can simply make them active and inactive with the help of this token button let's suppose i don't want this position and i don't want this your roles and responsibility then i can simply disable those field when i will click here you can see i don't have a position and roles and responsibility column here here you have a shorting options when you will click on the header of the column then you can short the customer data you can do it like this and the other a great feature that i really like when i was using uh, in one of my project this is the create issue button when i will click then i can uh, directly create a issue on behalf of the customer i can choose the project let's suppose the project is this and when i will hit the create button then it will ask me the other details like summary and i can write down the description like i want to raise this request on behalf of Uh, the name of a person and i can write the organizations approve approvers etc now i will click on the cancel because right now i don't want to create any issue this is the overview of this customer view you can add the customer you can set the filters you can add the fields where you can see the data as per the column now we will go to the top navigation and we will click on customers and organization and it is again showing me the same screen about the customer details but here i have a one important thing that i want to tell you like let's suppose if i want this organization column at the end and this position just beside the project now i want to save this view then i can i can hit the save button and i can give the name let's suppose my customers view i'm giving the name of my view and if i want to make it private then i can but right now i'm making it public and i will hit the save button and here you can see i have the my customer view underneath the public section so this is the way you can create view as per your comfortability and you can save that view so that next time as an agent you will come and see okay this is my view and i can see my customer data in this view so like this you can create multiple view there is no limit to create the views now i'm again uh, click on the customers here and i have already explained about how you can add the customers filters and fields now i will click on back to views and here we have the three important sections customers that i have already explained now organizations and the app setting i will click on the organizations and here we have a similar kind of a view that we have for the customers here we have a option to add the organization i can enter the name of the organization then click on the add button and i can assign the organization to the service project as i did for the customer so this is the same way you can do it with the organization we have the filters we have the fields and similar kind of like we have actions so this is the similar kind of thing that i have explained for the customers now we will back to the views and i will click on the app setting this is something interesting that i really wanted to tell you now i'll click on the forms and this is the functionality of the app where you can design a form to collect the information about your customer here we have a options to enable on portal with the help of this button you can enable this uh, form on the customer portal or you can disable it and here we have the four options we can display the form until available fields have value or once until the form is changed never and if the jql is met on the request view i will show you in this video where this dialog will be shown on the customer portal so here we have the dialog to collect the information configure which field you need to collect information about customer you can write down header and the show description and here are the fields let's suppose you also want to collect Mm, check box we can take it and here we have about the field to write the short description and this is optional if you want to write it you can let's suppose uh this is my uh choice and i can change the name of the field let's suppose choose any one this is just for the demo you can write down as per your organization requirement 
and then here we have our options like this field all users and customers can edit or only service agents can edit this is great and here we have a value visible on issue view and the customer portal so if you want to show uh, this uh, field value on the issue view then you can simply uncheck it and if you want to keep it on both then you can choose issue view and customer portal both now it is asking me to add the option i can add option uh, maybe option a i can add another option this is option b and then i can hit the save button so now i have a one more field to choose anyone and all users and customers can edit this field i want to show uh, this particular field on the issue view and the customer portal and i have a option option a and option b and they provide a option for the translation as well you can translate your uh, field you can do it as per your requirement and now i'm gonna hit on the save changes and then save so this is the place where you can design your customer form to ask them additional information so that agents can take a help from it and we have the other option is the organization you can design the organization form in the similar way as i did for the customer it will help you to collect the information about the organization and we have the similar concept to design the organization form as i did for the customer so you can do in the similar way now we have the another thing which is create issue and this is also a great feature where you can map your customer and organization app field with the jira field let's suppose in the left side i have customers and organization field and in the right side i have my jira field i can map those fields and this is really great and i want to tell you a features which is a copy value or a post function feature of this app i will go to their documentation and here we have the copy values post function this is the great feature because this post function allows you to copy data from customers and organization management fields to the jira custom fields and vice versa it means you can uh, copy the data from this app field to the jira custom fields and from jira custom fields to the customer and organization app fields this is great and they have already provided the sufficient details about this post functions you can go through and use this i just want to tell you where you will get this post function so for this let me go back to my instance and here i will go to my project and let's suppose i will open this this one and i want to open one request this is a request and i want to tell you one more thing when you will scroll the issue view then at the end of the uh, this view you will get a customer and organization where you can find the additional information and the organization details as an agent you can simply check the additional information about your customer and if you want to added this particular information on behalf of the customer you can as an agent and in the similar way you can do with the organization you can see here in the additional information we just added a one field in our form choose anyone option a and option v and we have chosen the option like any customers can also added that information and as an agent i also can do it if let's suppose i want to choose this option a then i can but right now i am not choosing any of the option i just wanted to tell you about the issue view where you can see the details about your customers now i will come to this issue uh, basically i want to open the workflow here i will click on view workflow and here we have a very simple workflow now i will go to the workflow and i will edit the workflow basically for this i will go to the project setting and here service request fulfillment workflow for jira service management i will click on add it and here i can add it my workflow i will click on a diagram and then i will choose uh, any transition let's suppose i want to add this post function in this transition i will click on the post functions and now i will come here and i will click on add post function and here i have a option customers and organization copy value copies value from customer and organization fields to jira custom fields and vice versa you can choose this click on add 
and here we have a uh, option to map their customers and organization field to the jira custom fields from here you can follow their documentation they have already defined how you should use these uh, options like if you want to hide the condition section and add a comment to the issues about problems with post function executions that you can do it with the help of their documentation you can simply go and and play with the post function functionality or you can say the copy value post function and this post function is increasing the importance of this app because i recently used in one of my project and if you want to check the use cases about the post functions then you can visit their website and check the blog section where they have already written the use cases how you can manage the employees day off with the help of this app and they have provided all the use cases all the configurations you can go and simply check definitely it will help you and there is a one more use cases about the sla this app will also help you to create the sla based on your customer context and it's cool now i will go back to my project where i will tell you how we can collect the information about customer basically where this dialog will appear so for this i will go to my project and let me choose my project from here i will go here and then i will click on channels i will open the portal customer portal here and here you can see this is a dialog where the customer can enter the information here customer can choose a option a and here they can write, write down the roles and responsibility uh, whatever the field is and now i will click on save now i will come back to the customer section here i will click here and here you can see the roles and responsibility is entered but not the option because we have to choose the field option here like this we have to enable it so i have enabled i will close it and here you can see i have a option choose anyone option a like this a agent can see the information of the customer that's all for this video and you can go and try the free trial of this app and if you want to book a demo session with them you can simply go and book a demo session this app is still under development and the team is working on it and definitely in future we will have a great feature to use the support of this app is really awesome if you have any question and if you are facing any kind of a issue then simply you can create a ticket and the team definitely will reply and resolve your issue thank you for watching this video and if you haven't subscribed this channel then please hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon so that you can get the latest video about the atlassian products and the atlassian marketplace app thank you for watching this video have a great day